Imagine, if you will, a researcher studying the effects of smoking on health by focusing on people who smoke only one cigarette per day. That study would likely conclude that the risks posed by smoking are very minor. That would be bad science, but a good metaphor for what the FCC is currently doing with research related to 5G technologies. The FCC just announced it will reaffirm the radio frequency radiation exposure limits that were adopted in the 1990s based on research from the 1980s. These limits were set based on behavioral changes in rats exposed to microwave radiation and were established to protect humans from short-term heating risks from radiation exposure. Consider the difference between short-term limited exposures to microwave radiation and constant long-term and inescapable exposures to the same. It's kind of like conflating the effects of one cigarette a day with three packs a day or mistaking molehills for mountains. The FCC is using outdated standards and ignoring vast amounts of research which show that radiation from 5G leads to increased cancer risk, cellular stress, increase in free radicals, genetic damage, changes to the reproductive system, learning and memory deficits, and neurological disorders. Ignoring this information is very similar to what many researchers and government officials did in the 1950s with evidence about the dangers of smoking. Unlike cigarette smoke, however, a person cannot simply choose to avoid 5G technology. If it is allowed to be deployed universally, near constant exposure to this radiation will be virtually unavoidable. Our health should not be jeopardized by poor science. Join ANH and take a stand for science and against the forced inhalation of the dangerous nonsense that the FCC is spewing.